first we're going to start by like pulling it out um, and kind of just expanding it this way. Maybe if you could grab those two poles and just lift up that here and just slip this bamboo slat through a loop and the structure is set up. I'm Hannah. I'm a freshman mechanical engineer. I'm Courtney. I'm a chemical engineer and I'm also a first year. I'm Laura. I'm the president of Cooper Union. <laughs> <laughs> This was for our EID 101 class, and we worked with Professor Cumberbatch. We designed the shelter to help refugees who are in transit in sub-Saharan Africa. The goal of the project was to build a shelter that would be rapidly assemblable, biodegradable, and portable. You know, over the years, I've done a lot of work with teams who focus on strategy and design and trying to solve problems. You can't design solutions just in an office, or in your case, in a lab or a classroom. I'm curious if you couldn't get out and talk to refugees, um, what you did to either mimic that experience or guide you in some way. One of the things that we did was spend 36 hours living off of things that we could carry in a backpack, which meant sleeping on the floor. We also had to walk to Battery Park, and that was kind of to simulate what refugees have to do. So you are budding engineers. And in this case, you've picked a really important social problem, social challenge. Engineers have also created a lot of things that have caused damage in the world. What is it that you think about as you balance the potential implications for the projects that you work on? When we were designing this project, a huge part of it was that we wanted it to be biodegradable. Ultimately, we're trying to help people, and part of helping people is helping the environment they live in. And when this is hopefully produced in sub-Saharan Africa, the materials will be all locally available. As engineers, it's just really important for us to like always judge and re-look at what we've created so far and see how can we improve it and how can we make it more efficient. So what, what prompted you to pick this project? EID 101 has just been like a really nice reminder that like the work that we're doing in our classes and all like the homework and all the problem sets and all that are all pointing towards something in the future and it's all pointing toward helping people and really like having an impact on the world.